Welcome to our Rainwatch update. Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. This is recorded on Friday, the 12th of April. Taking a look at the upcoming rainfall around New Zealand for the next seven days. In fact, eight if you count today as well. Let's have a look at the animated wind map. You can see the low pressure zone, the main centre of it out here to the west of the South Island. It's got another centre. It's kind of split across the Southern Alps there. Another centre out to the east. Over the next 24 hours, this comes up around Cook Strait. And then it should all kind of drop away off to the southeast, pulled down by this northerly, which is coming around this gigantic area of high pressure out east of the country. And it's this massive high that brought in that very windy weather over the last 24 hours, especially around Auckland and the north of the country and other parts of New Zealand. And then there's a southerly flow coming here for Canterbury. So wind flows are all over the place around the country for the next 24 hours. Let's have a look at the next 48 hours. Uh, this is the setup this evening, 6 o'clock Friday night. There's the main area of low pressure. A little bit of wet weather still on the west coast here and a little bit to the north as well, which is uh, going to be welcome. The front is lying over Bay of Plenty and other parts of the North Island. That will be good news. Manawatu and other areas need some rain, but they may, may not be a huge amount. Just depends. It's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, good luck if you need the rain. So let's have a look at the next 48 hours. The low pressure zone drops away. And by the time we get to Sunday evening, there's the high southwesterly winds around the country, just a couple of isolated showers for the most part. So let's have a look at the rainfall for the weekend. As that front crosses over the North Island, some of the heaviest falls will be here in the Bay of Plenty region. And that's where you're getting up to sort of 50, 60 millimetres or more. It might be going higher than that. And then elsewhere, it's more broken up because of the mountains, the ranges. So some areas will get a good uh, drink. Others may not, like places around uh, Hawke's Bay, perhaps parts of Manawatu as well. And then further down the country, obviously not seeing as much wet weather around Canterbury or the southern part. In fact, Fiordland is the driest part of New Zealand. That's kind of fascinating considering how much rain has been falling over there this week. Here we are on Saturday. So the low is in Cook Strait. Windy westerlies or northwesterlies come back into the North Island. They're not major, but they'll be windy in some areas, maybe around Taranaki, Waitomo. Even Auckland could be a little bit blustery. Uh, over here, pretty warm and dry, and obviously some wet weather just crossing the very top of the country. Elsewhere, not a lot going on, just a few showers here and there. Into Sunday, it's gone. Well, it's mostly gone. It's out here next to the Chatham Islands. They've got a couple of showers, southerly change for them. Most of the rest of the country has the southwesterly airflow. It might change shape a little bit around the Southern Alps, but generally speaking, we've got a southwest airflow going around this high pressure belt, and high pressure carries on over towards Australia. So next week, high pressure is up here to the north, low pressure down here in the Southern Ocean, and that makes for those westerly winds. They're not going to be very strong, but there'll be a bit of cloud around the western side of New Zealand. You can see these showers tracking along. This looks more like this time of the year. You know, we've been seeing a lot of high pressure this year so far, tracking along southern parts. Now it's moving further to the north. That's allowing systems like this in the Southern Ocean to send showers up towards New Zealand. So that is a little bit of a change to our weather pattern. And it lasts right across next week. You see here on Tuesday, Cold front coming into the lower South Island, a few isolated showers elsewhere, eastern areas and northern areas of both main islands looking mostly dry. Stays that way on Wednesday, still got high pressure centred just near Norfolk Island, matching up with another high south of Australia, so that's all high pressure. Kind of El Nino looking, where you still got that southwesterly wind blowing, still got a couple of showers around, nothing too much though. And Thursday, no real change as well. The winds pick up a wee bit more down here. And our final map for Friday does show potentially, because it's still a week out, uh, the southerly change coming into New Zealand. This might bring in, if it, if it goes this way, a little bit of wet weather coming in for Dunedin, parts of Otago, getting into Canterbury as well as a southeasterly. But it all depends on this high south of Adelaide and the way it stretches out, trying to sort of bring in that southerly or southeasterly. So we're still not totally locked in with what is going on with that system, but there is a chance of a southerly again next week. Here is the rainfall for the next seven days coming up. And basically this does capture the rain that's falling today as well. So you can see in the red shading, that's where we're talking about uh, 50 to 80 millimeters still yet to come through for these areas. So that's Good news if you still need rain. Still has potential for slips though. Further to the north, you've got that wet weather in Bay of Plenty. You've got those showers building up in the western side and also some more wet weather for the western side of the South Island. Not a huge amount. Driest areas will be here, here, and clearly around Hawke's Bay. Hawke's Bay and Northland look to be the driest 
overall. And that is all from me for our Rainwatch update for this week. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again on Monday.